The Arkansas Razorbacks men's and women's cross-country teams came to the 2011 SEC Championships with one of the proudest programs in the nation, and they left with proof. The men left Maryville, Tennessee with their second straight team trophy under head coach Chris Bucknam, and Lance Harder's women's squad came home runner-up. Not that the team accolades were enough. Both the men and women won the individual title, as junior Eric Fernandez dominated the 8K with a time of 2410.60, and senior Kristen Gillespie set a course record in the 6K at 2019.84. Senior Duncan Phillips finished just behind Fernandez in second, solidifying the team's win. It's awesome. You know, it, honestly, the first thing that popped in my head was outdoor SECs when the milers went one, two, three. It's just so fun. Like, crossing a line is a beautiful feeling in the first place, but when you see your teammate right behind you, it's, it's indescribable because it's all about the team effort out here. That felt great. Um... You know, I, I kind of have been joking with him this week, saying, you know, if I'm there with the last 200, I'm, I'm not just going to let you win. I mean, I'm going to take it. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I just put myself in good position the whole race. And um, myself and Rick, Rick Elliott, we pretty much ran together the whole time. And then when we hit the mile, I decided I might as well go for second place. Like, I could sit here and get fifth or whatever and feel good, but... I want to see how hard I can push myself. We, I mean, we always have solid runners, and um, when it comes down to it, there's just always real good competition um, on both sides. And, um, you know, I think everyone agrees that Arkansas is a school that you always have to contend with when it comes to cross country and track. I mean, it would feel really great to have the team title also, but um, as long as everyone gave their all, you have to be happy with it. The men had five runners in the top 13, including seniors Duncan Phillips, Rick Elliott, and Chual Day in second, sixth, and eleventh places, and freshman Patrick Rono in 13th. Rono was named to both the second team all SEC and all freshman teams, and Fernandez, Phillips, and Elliott received first team SEC accolades. The team was bunched near the front of the pack for most of the race, and Coach Bucknam said his team's execution of the game plan was a perfect way to keep the SEC trophy in Fayetteville. Feels good. You know, feels good. Um, uh, it's, like I said, this is um, the best conference in the country, uh, bar none, and uh, we're happy that we won it. We did a good job. You know, that second mile slowed down a little bit. I was worried um, about that because I would have liked to have seen a more consistent pace. Um, but, um, I, I, you know, that happens sometimes, and um, it picked up uh, again on that third and fourth mile. But it really slowed down to second, kind of let a lot of, a lot of uh, people into the race and um, would have liked to stretch it out a little bit more but um, kids ran smart and we did it we, we we did the right thing. Gillespie was named a first team all sec -er, and freshman Caitlin Flatman and Jessica Jackson made the second team. Despite coming home without the team trophy, Coach Harder said he was more than pleased with the effort that his young team put forth. I think in every championship you always try to go to win and we're always a contender. Uh, this happens to be a year where Vanderbilt has three seniors and two juniors that are very seasoned veterans and uh, they're riding off a lot of momentum. They're number three in the nation for a reason. Um, and we came in the meet with uh, five freshmen and uh, a real young 850 meter group. So it's a matter of trying to keep our perspective, realize that we're still in the national hunt to be a, a high place winner team. And it's, uh, you know, we got to give all the congratulations to Kristen Gillespie's big win today. Uh, last year at this time, you know, she was struggling. And now in a matter of, you know, a year, she's, uh, you know, the SEC champion. So it's, uh, it's a situation. That's how our program works. And it evolves athletes. Uh, we're excited about having five freshmen and Steph is a sophomore and Carrie is a sophomore. So, you know, we've got a lot of young people that can still evolve. And uh, some people are going to take a hit with some seniors. Uh, we'll lose KG, but uh, hey, we're excited about the future. Well, with a first and second showing in the team competition and two individual winners here at the SEC Championships, next up for the Hogs is the Regionals in Waco, Texas, before heading on to the Nationals in Terre Haute, Indiana. Here at the 2011 SEC Championships in Maryville, Tennessee, I'm Zach Swartz for ArkansasRazorbacks.com.